Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to Minecraft 1.6, the horse update. So today I've got a pretty cool tutorial for you guys on how to build a really cool secret door with a brand new activation system, so to speak. Something that I've never seen before and something that I really had very little inspiration in building. Uh, usually when I, when I build something like this or think of something, it's always been triggered off by something else with this this just kind of came to me one day I was just sitting there and I thought wow that I wonder if that works to my to my luck it worked in 1.6 which was something that I was really really worried about that's why I didn't make the tutorial earlier I knew 1.6 was coming in a few weeks I thought what the hey I may as well make it now so that's what we're doing today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make uh, this awesome awesome activation system. It's really compact something that I, totally different. That I've never seen before Okay, so rather than doing a really long introduction. I'm gonna go straight into the tutorial into the tutorial now Sorry, that's kind of a mouthful. Okay, so I will see you in about two seconds. Sweet Okay guys, so before the tutorial I thought I'd give you guys a quick demo of what this is what this does and show you guys behind the scenes So I've set up this quick house just as a good way of demoing this This is the best way of which I could think to demo it. So as you can see I've got my little light system sorted out here Turns on like uh, like a warehouse would so anyways here we have an Item frame with a hopper in now. I'm guessing your first reaction to this is hold up Don't tell me that Hoppers work in, in item frames. Well, let's just see. Okay, so I'm going to throw eight blocks into there. And as you saw, that disappeared. It opens this door, and then bingo. We're in. It closes exactly the right time behind us. It gives us enough time to get through. And then we're into this special room. So let me just open this and show you guys how this works. Now, not to spoil, spoil it for you guys, but the fact is, it's not actually using the hopper in the item frame. I just thought that would be a cool way to kind of advertise it, so to speak. It's actually pretty cool and pretty compact behind the scenes. So what we have first is our item hopper minecart. Then we have a minecart track on top of a hopper, which is on top of a chest. What happens is when we throw those blocks, they go into here, and as they go through here, it activates the comparator, and however many blocks we throw down, it gives us a certain amount, it gives us a certain time of how long this redstone is going to be on for. So, I think the, the coolest thing about this, in my opinion, apart from the fact that the blocks disappear and stuff and go into here, is this. Now, I've never seen this before, which I'm, I could be really, really wrong here. This could be a super popular thing among the redstone community. What I call this is a comparator converter. What it does is a comparator gives you a strength signal as well as a redstone signal. It gives you how far it's going to travel for depending on how many blocks are in here. What this does is it strips that strength info and just gives us a straight up redstone signal whether it's whether it's on or off, which is the reason which is the reason this works. Had I not thought of this and I know it's super simple. It doesn't take any brains to think of it. I'm not exactly the cleverest but the the most academic or intelligent person there is in the world. Sorry, I was about to say cleverest, and I really don't think that's a word. Uh, anyway, so, and then, obviously, you know, I've got this door. Now, one issue that I found with pistons with this is that because this gives out such a quick tick, it gives one tick of redstone with that comparator if we put one block in, then it messes everything up. Now, I'm not going to show you because it takes ages to reset, and I can't be bothered with that. Uh, there's probably loads of ways around it. I just couldn't personally think of one and this has taken ages to build all of this stuff So let me show you guys again if we get now the cool thing is if I throw say 64 blocks in Sorry, it wasn't close enough if we throw 64 blocks in Notice how this is open for way way longer Which I think is probably the coolest thing the fact that you can customize how long this is open Depending on how many blocks you throw in so if we just run through here, then that door will close. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all that I can think to demo about this. Uh, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you guys how to build this thing and the guts and basically explain anything. So I'll see you in one second. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build it. So as you can see, this thing is super compact. It's five, five in depth, four in height, and one in width, one block. But one block by four blocks by five blocks, which is super tiny for something as cool as this. And uh, you probably fit this anywhere that you want. The fact is, this is 
pretty much plush with the ground. So let me just explain this here. This is going to be the floor of your place, of, of your house. This is going to be the wall. Now, if we use my building over there as an example here, the way this works is the place that the item frame would be is here. Because this is the wall, like, like this, and this here is the floor. So then all we've got to do here is throw, you know, a block in. It goes in and then we get a redstone signal over there. I wasn't quick enough to show you guys that. But anyways, let me just steal this from out there. As you can see, I've already got some blocks in there. Okay, guys, so now I'll teach you how to build it. Now, to be frankly honest here, this thing is super, super easy to build. You can even do it just from looking at this. Uh, if you want to pause it and use, do it that way, I'm not fussed, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. It's super quick, super easy, and requires very little resources. So, as I said, as I was just saying, it requires very little resources. So, let me show you guys. First, we're going to need... First, we're going to need is a rail, a minecart with a hopper, a hopper itself, a chest. Then, we're going to need a comparator. We're going to need a redstone torch and a couple of redstone torches and a block of your choice to build this with, and that's it. That's really it, and it's super cheap, and obviously really, really cool. So first thing you wanna do is place the chest. On top of that, you wanna place the hopper. Now make sure this hopper is facing downwards, rather than it facing, it pointing inwards, because then that's not gonna work, and it, everything's gonna mess up. And I was actually having trouble when I was building this. That happened to me, and I was like, I couldn't work out why it wouldn't work. But now, obviously, I have. Then, on top of this, you want to place a rail. Now, as you'll notice, over here, the rail is uh, uh, facing west or facing east, however you want to, however you want to choose it. But natively, when you place rails down, they're facing either north or east, uh, north or south. Pardon me. So the way you change this is all we've got to do is build a block on the side of the hopper, place another minecart, and then it changes the orientation of the rail. Fit, making it face west or east, uh, west or east. So then we want to plop the minecart with the hopper on top of that. So now, as I said, this part here is the floor, and then on top of the on top of the minecart is the wall. So you don't have to have the item frame uh, as I've got. You guys saw the item frame. You don't have to do that. I think it just adds to the effect. And the only reason I did it was, as I said, it just it just kind of makes it cool, adds to the effect. So now let's get onto the redstone stuff. As you can see, it is super, super simple, the redstone for this. So all we're gonna do here is place a block just next to the chest. So the comparator signal isn't coming from the chest, it's coming from the hopper. Then place the comparator facing away from the hopper. Then we wanna place now onto the comparator signal converter, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it from now on uh, because that's easiest. Then we want to build two redstone torches on blocks like that. So one above. So we've got this three by this three diagonal of blocks with redstone torches. And that's it. That really is it. So let me just show you guys quickly a, a quick uh, practical use of this. Another thing anyways. So if I just place uh, a couple blocks over here, like so, then I, got, I can show you guys how this just works as it is raw. So the only reason I've added those extra torches is just so it's easier for me to show you guys. Oh, geez, okay, that's not worked. We just wanna, oh no, actually, yeah, that will work. Okay, so, let's throw this redstone torch redstone lamp in there we get one tick of redstone it stays on for one tick or we get 64 blocks throw all 64 of those blocks in there boom this is going to stay on for how long it takes the the blocks to go from this minecart hopper to this now there's a loads and loads of practical uses that you can use this for i can't think of all of them but i feel like this is really going to Add a new kind of direction for redstone. I I'm, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just over exaggerating everything here. Maybe I'm a little over proud of myself for this. But you know what? I think it's pretty damn cool. I think there's loads of ways that you can use this. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the limitations of this system. Now, one thing that I was talking about before is throwing one block in, and that's throwing one block in at a time, and that's just with with this. With the, with the pistons. What happens is, yeah, as you can see, it messes up. 
which is really annoying and it's all about the reaction time of pistons so what I've got to do now to reset this is I wonder what happens if I throw another single block in let's try that yeah so it's pretty messed up right now I'm not gonna fix it uh, but I, as I said, it does take kind of a while to fix everything. So that is one limitation, I guess. But that happens with anything with a single tick involved with, uh, with, with pistons. Now the next thing, which is probably the biggest limitation of this build, and I probably should have mentioned it earlier, as I was talking about the orient, the native orientation of rails, is as you can see, it faces either south or it faces either north, whichever way you want to perceive that. Problem here is this build will only work on walls which are facing, which are south facing or north facing. They won't work with west or east. Now, let me show you what this means. So, say this is our house with, you know, with the four walls. Sorry, let me just build this, this little house here. This wall here is our west facing wall. This wall here is the east facing wall. These two will not work. And as I said, that's because of the native orientation of rails in Minecraft. What happens is it's always facing north or south. We need to convert that into a west or east facing, which is really irritating. I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but that's as much as I can say. Uh, that's pretty much all the limitations for this build. I think this is really cool. Now, if this has helped you out, if this is, you know, you thought this was cool or whatever, or you just think this, you know, this was a good idea, I really appreciate it if you guys would hit like on my videos, uh, on this video, if it helped you. If it didn't help you and you you hate me and you hate my voice, oh my God. sorry, my, my phone's going crazy, uh, but if you, if you like this video, hit like if you didn't like this video hit dislike but if you do give me a rating on the video please tell me why you gave me the rating in the dis in the comments i really want to know it i don't care if you dislike the video if i did care if you dislike the video i would disable my ratings fact is if you do hit dislike or you do hit like please tell me below why you liked it why you disliked it now another thing is if you thought this was really, really cool, uh, I would love it if you guys could share this with Seth Bling. You know, he's the Redstone Master, the King of Redstone. And there's also Etho, but I mean, pretty much all of Seth Bling's videos are based on Redstone. So if you guys could share it with him, I would, you know, mean the world. If he just watched it, uh, that would be awesome. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go jump on my horse. No, yeah, there we go. No. Did that not work? Okay, I destroyed the lead. Great, okay. So anyways, guys, I'm going to ride off into the distance. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I am humbled that you took the time out of your day to watch my Minecraft video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please hit like. If you enjoy my videos and you enjoy my voice, be sure to hit subscribe. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.